Hi guys, welcome back to Shroom Up. This is episode four of My First Grow. And we're gonna split this into two parts, guys. So this is fruiting part one, and then I'll do fruiting part two for the other species in another episode. If you do like this content and you find it enjoyable, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Let's get into it. Back in December 2024, I was at MJ BizCon in Las Vegas and I came across the North Spore booth and I spoke to the guys and I was hooked. I'd wanted to do a mushroom grow for a while, but as soon as I met the North Spore guys and found out about their Shroom Tech all-in-one grow bag, I had to give it a go. So when I got back from MJ BizCon, I reached out to the guys from North Spore and managed to get myself a few samples. Now the Shroom Tech all-in-one grow bag does not come with spores or liquid culture, so you're gonna have to do your own research it's pretty straightforward and easy to find any type of mushroom that you'd like to grow. In episode one, we inoculated the Shroom Tech all-in-one grow bags with liquid culture. I chose liquid culture for my first mushroom grow because it's much more easier to get going and it has a higher success rate of inoculating your grow bags from the beginning in comparison to spores. In episode two, we did the break and shake. This is where the mycelium had grown inside the all-in-one grow bags, inside the substrate and kind of spread to about 20 or 25%. So we broke up the mycelium and we spread it to the rest of the substrate inside the bag. And then we let it rest and grow even further to colonize the whole bag. In episode three, we started the fruiting stage. Now that was pretty straightforward. We basically cut a hole above the filter patch in the all-in-one grow bag. And that starts the fruiting stage by letting extra oxygen inside the bag. Later, we cut the bag into a hood. As you can see, we cut three sides, the front, the left, the right, and we left the bag as a kind of hinge at the back so that we could create this humidity dome. I also wanted to see the shrooms growing inside and have a better look so that I could get a time-lapse. Once these guys start growing, they grow fast. I wasn't expecting it to be as rapid growth as it was. It's literally about a five day process from this up until harvest. So do be prepared. It is, um, it is quite a quick growth. Now, I do have a, another species in a different bag. They're not growing as quick. So it might be specific to this species i don't know if you've done a lot of grows let me know in the comments below if five days is a usual turnaround but this time lapse is about a five day time lapse probably add an extra two days for the initial kind of pinning which was really small but once those pins started to grow it was five days before i actually picked them from the cake and dried them out and then rehydrated the cake for the second flush. Just how many mushrooms started to grow at the side here was a little bit hard to kind of gauge because of the bag. So I think on my next grow, what I'll do is try to make myself a monotub or invest in a monotub and actually spread out the mycelium into even more kind of substrate medium in a monotub and get a bigger grow because this bag was packed. I'm pretty sure that I could have got way bigger harvest and way bigger mushrooms if I didn't kind of confine them to this bag. Also as well, I realized that I used the whole liquid culture syringe and I could have probably got away with just using half of it and inoculated two to three bags with just one syringe. So this is kind of like a, a mega mega kind of yield already inside here and it was growing quick you can see that it was just getting packed in there i wasn't quite sure when to harvest now i checked and obviously the caps right now still have that kind of veil underneath and i knew that i had to wait until that veil kind of ripped and popped down and that it didn't drop its spores but they're all growing at different rates i wasn't quite sure whether i could crop some of them and dry them out and let others grow. So I decided just to kind of let them all grow out, 
harvest them at the same time and then rehydrate the cake to get a second flush. But as you can see, this bag was like chock a block, it was like squashed. Very interesting to watch them grow. It's nothing like I've kind of experienced in a grow before. It's crazy. So really interested to build myself a monotub and try to kind of you know, spread that mycelium out even further and just see how many I can grow. But very beautiful looking, weird alien kind of growths. It's uh, hypnotizing to watch them. The amount of growth that happens just within four, five, six hours, half a day is insane. So I would check in on them in the morning and then 12 hours later, they had grown massively. So, yeah, I was a little bit surprised. I'm going to have to pay more attention to that in future on the growth. It might be specific to this species. Other species may grow slower. This is just my first attempt. So, yeah, I was very shocked just at how fast they grew. I probably could have harvested them here. This probably would have been an ideal time to harvest them all of those kind of veils had split at the bottom there but i waited a little bit too long i think lesson learned for the next grow i will probably harvest around this stage where the veils had grown some of them have obviously kind of dropped their spores at the back there i didn't know anything about them dropping their spores it's just all new territory for me I think this would have been the ideal time to harvest all of them, but I actually waited a little bit longer. So, yeah, I think I don't know what I was doing. Um, I could have done a little bit more research, but I just wanted to kind of watch them grow as well because they're kind of beautiful thing to watch them grow. You can see these images are fantastic. It's just so alien compared to the other plants that I grow that I was kind of obsessed. But uh, yeah, for future reference, I think this would have been the ideal moment for me to pick them and then put them in the dryer. We'll see how the other bag goes with the other species. We'll see if it grows the same. And then I can have a kind of reference as to how many days it usually is. Now, that other bag seems to be about two to three days in growth behind this bag. This was the next morning, I'd gone to sleep, so it was about eight hours later. When I woke up in the morning, it was time to harvest and crop them. I'd obviously waited a little bit too long and all of them had opened and dropped their spores down, but the bag was full. So I'm definitely gonna try to spread that kind of inoculated substrate out in future because these bags are chocker. And then also as well, I did use the full syringe of liquid culture so probably try to be a little bit more kind of sparing on that and share it out across multiple bags the images of these mushrooms are fantastic it's just beautiful beautiful to kind of like get in there and see them very alien this is the second bag and as you can see it's about two to three days growth behind this was Two days after the other one had started to pin, this one started to show very small kind of maggoty looking pins here and not many of them. So I decided to cut a hood on it, as you can see, hoping to speed up the fruiting process. Within 24 hours, it had sped up a little bit, but definitely not to the same speed as the other species. So I decided to put this in a tub. Now, this is not a mono tub, it's just a sealed plastic tub it's still very humid in there whilst i was time lapsing the other ones this was growing in this tub here so i'm going to put this into a separate episode so this will be fruiting part two stay tuned for that guys i do appreciate everybody tuning in and staying to the end of this video if you made it thanks for watching stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to go over this grow and then also stay tuned for the harvesting of the first grow. Bye-bye.